name is Rosia. I'm going to talk about where and how and what type of hurricanes they are. Hurricanes are also called tropical cyclones. They are normally formed over the Atlantic Ocean or Eastern Pacific Ocean. Hurricanes are also more active in the Western Pacific Ocean. I got this information from NASA.org. 1 and 2 is small damage. 3 to 4 is little more damage. And 5 is more damage. Think of 5 as how it happened in Puerto Rico, where they still have no light and they have no food. Hi, I'm Jeffrey, and I'm going to tell you about tropical cyclones. Tropical cyclones collect warm, moist air over the ocean waters the, and can only form near the land close to the equator. The air moves up and away from the land, so there is less warm air close to the surface. And I'm going to tell you where I got my site from, nasa.org. Moving on to hope in 3, 2, 1. Thanks, Jeffrey. Hi, my name is Hope, and I'm going to be talking about what happens to the ecosystem when a hurricane hits. What happens to the ecosystem all depends on the area of where the hurricane hits. Some things that can happen is fish are blown onto the land, the hurricane can destroy the coral reefs under the sea, and also the hurricane destroys lots of land, lowering the amount of food that is available to the animals. It also destroys lots of houses and causes lots of flooding. It also can injure lots of humans. I got my information from thescientist.com. Now on to Aubrey. Hi, my name is Aubrey. Being in a hurricane, you need to have safety precautions. You need food, at least a gallon of water, a first aid, a charger, and a place where no windows are. Do not pick a basement because of flooding, but you also need a radio. The radio will tell you if the hurricane has already passed or if your utilities need to be turned off. Stay safe and don't be blown away by, blown away by this information. Roll credits.